welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna talk about cradle cap. A lot of babies have it and um, I'm a new mom. Uh, this is my first baby and uh, when she was a couple of weeks old she got um, uh, this rash all over her face and um, head and I got really scared but the midwife told me it's from um, the hormones transferring from the milk um, to the baby so it's nothing to be worried about so if your baby doesn't have temperature is not crying she or he is fine but in what but as a result um, she got cra cradle cap and it's slowly getting better to fasten this process uh, it's a very easy trick that we used. Um, we're gonna massage the baby uh, with uh, olive oil, which is the healthiest, and she's not allergic to it. So you might want to try it on a portion of skin before you do the uh, the proper treatment. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put oil on her hair. And um, make sure your baby <laughs> was fed. She's looking at me because usually I'm singing to her. So she's calming down. So. So you, you want to soak um, the head in this um, olive oil. Make sure it's organic oil. We're lucky to have it from actually a farm, <laughs> a friend of ours gave us the soil and it can be more organic than than it is and if your baby is distressed just stop it feed feed the baby sing to the baby um, she just had a massive meal so she should be fine but you never know right <laughs> also because her skin is quite dry we're just gonna uh, massage the entire body and this massage could be like till 20 minutes but because it's soon her nap well actually it's evening so it's gonna be like soon her bedtime i'm gonna try to make it faster today always talk to your baby i'm talking in italian because we're international family <laughs> uh, because we want Luna to be bilingual see and um, and the, what we're gonna do today is um, little massage and then leave her overnight with the oil on super healthy by the way looks like she's enjoying it um, and give her a nice bath in the morning so because her skin will be soaked it would be so much easier to get it off that's why it actually got so much better so instead of dealing with cradle cap for months you could uh, do it much quicker get rid of it much quicker by doing this evening massage and having a nice bath in the morning um, and then I'll show you how we bath her. Oh, guarda, adesso facciamo i pedini. Oh, che bello! Sì, amorino. Eccolo qua. Bel massaggino al pedino. Bel massaggino al pedino. I'm literally just singing whatever it comes to my mind because it keeps her calm. So you don't really need to be a singer <laughs> because I am not. <laughs> come canta la mamma? Sì, amorino. Ooh, eccola qua. <laughs> so I think that's that's more than enough oil um, for her front. She was dry behind her ears as well. Her hands get dry. So um, obviously we don't do it every night. We use baby cream for daily routine. Um, so now we gonna do this. Tummy time. Multitasking. Tummy time. And little massage. Again, we put it on her back, of her head. So it's just left here in this area. 
<sighs> but since we're doing this spot treatment, we'll do the entire body. Also, I have to say, we tried coconut oil. Um, again, organic coconut oil, but it didn't work for Luna. Uh, her, her skin was irritated, so we stopped doing that. Um, I'll show you tomorrow the cream we use for her. Eccola qua! Basta, abbiamo finito! Now, what's gonna happen? She's gonna have a massive feed and go to bed. <laughs> and we're gonna shoot the buff time in the morning and share it with you in the second part of the video. Eccoci qua! Basta! Buonasera a tutti! Ciao! I'll see you later. <laughs> so, <laughs> Luna had a nice sleep covered in olive oil and she didn't complain about it. She seems to like it. And now it's time for her to have a nice bath. Always talk and sing to your baby to make them calm. They love listening to your voice. And uh, yeah, just improv whatever it comes to your mind. Oh, questo bagnetto bello. Qui ce l'abbiamo il vigetto. And um, coming back to the main subject, uh, cradle cap. We're just gonna soak her. I just saw her head, head was covered in olive oil, uh, which made the skin really soft. And now we're gonna soak it with water. She really likes her bath time. Her first bath when she, was when she was six days old. <laughs> she was really tiny. Now she almost stays by herself. Um, use um, just a clean cloth, muslin, uh, to help the soaking process of the head. Hair. Make sure you use the right temperature for the baby. You use this thermometer, and it's written which is the exact temperature good for the baby. Very helpful. So you might want to spend a couple of minutes play with your baby, sing, and then. Uh, we use this hair comb um, just to massage the skull and uh, it's very important to be super gentle you don't want to you know um, press too much it's just about getting rid of the dry skin um, and it's something that you just help the natural process to get a little bit faster you don't want to exaggerate <laughs> Bravo, amore. Um, yeah absolutely do not press too much do not get rid of thing of skin that is not ready yet to to fall uh, be very very gentle And then use your baby shampoo, whatever your baby likes. I mean, you want to try different ones. Um, and find the one best that suits your, the skin of your baby. The same as with oils. As I mentioned, we didn't like the coconut oil. Um, I mean, this, her skin didn't like it. <laughs> so we moved to other products and olive oil seems to work great. Once you put the baby shampoo, you want to do the same massage again. Ah, 
and it's just going to go into bath time with your baby. Mm. Very important, never leave your baby alone, even for a second. Uh, even if you think they are ready to, to hold their bag and sit in the bathtub, don't risk it. Just always have one hand on the baby and washing with another one. If you have your partner to help you, it gets much easier. Jenkins is gonna help me rinse her head. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, we dried the hair, we dried the baby, and um, you can do that once or twice a week. Uh, obviously, ask for professional advice if you're concerned about your baby's skin. Um, this is something we found out works for Luna, and she has very sensitive skin. Um, after we dried her hair, I brushed it with uh, just a baby brush. Uh, gonna be very gentle. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and you can remove uh, the dry skin again. You gotta be very patient with this. It's not like overnight. You not gonna get rid of it very quickly. It's gonna take a couple of weeks or even months. Um, but it's nothing to be worried about, especially if your baby is alert and happy, like Luna. 